Okay, it's all done. This is the end of the first treatment. It is very scary looking. Um, I should have mentioned before that this is done in a medical office, not like just a regular spa um, under the supervision of a physician. So you could do this like at the dermatologist or the plastic surgeon. I go to my dermatologist. Um, so process overall is that they spent, they, they put lidocaine all over your face and then wrap you in plastic wrap, kind of like you're a sandwich, like a meat sandwich for, for 30 minutes, um, to let that sit and have, and numb the skin. Um, and I would hate to say that it's pain-free because it definitely is not. Uh, the forehead is where they start when the lidocaine is the strongest. That is the most painful part for sure. Um, then the nose, then the lip, and they move on to kind of this area, um, and then do the cheeks, which doesn't hurt a bit. So how it feels is, I mean, it's uncomfortable. It's not like a facial where you get all relaxed and get a massage and it's soothing. It's, it's uncomfortable. Um, it is a, a pen that kind of looks like a very thick Sharpie marker and it, um, has like 12 needles and they stamp the skin and you can almost see what a stamp would look like, kind of like right there. And there's an overlap. So there's a 50% overlap as they go. So there's stamp, 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 stamp. Um, the whole process is a little over an hour. That's including the 30 minutes for the lidocaine to work. Um, and, you know, it stings. Uh, right now, it's hot. It feels really hot. And my face feels like a really bad sunburn where it's stiff. Um, it is the, the biggest part right now is to keep it clean, um, but not actually wash it. So... There's a couple of different special serums and lotions that you get in order to keep the field sterile, I guess. Um, I don't want to overstate it. And moisturized. So this is the worst it's going to look is immediately after. It takes about 24 hours for the redness to really go away and about three days for it to be fully, you know, like healed enough where no one would be able to notice. Um, right now I have to avoid anything that would make my skin hot or flushed that would thin the blood. Um, so no, um, ibuprofen, no hot showers, no exercising, um, no getting overheated. And of course, no, absolutely no sun exposure, um, until that, that is healed. So again, it is like little micro in injuries to my face. I will update you and maybe later tonight on the process and how it looks. Talk to you later.